and we're back so we're gonna make a quick little salata caprese just to go with the uh, goose breast the snow goose breast uh, the only thing that really makes this one a little bit special is instead of bocconcini or uh, mozzarella di bufala we're gonna be using um, scaramozza which is basically a different kind of mozzarella it's just a very fresh cheese Voila. A little bit. I prefer using plum tomatoes, but they're plum out of season. I'm gonna put that one on this one. Yeah. So then I really only need one more. Excuse me, more. Touch my uh, the rest of the cheese with the tomato fingers. There we go, nice generous slice. Put this away. This balsamic vinegar, it's a, um, a concentrate almost, I guess a reduction. So it's almost like a syrup. A little bit of sea salt. And a little bit of garlic powder. Voila, and that's done. We can set that aside for a second. here let's get my pan heated up so we're gonna want the pan like super hot and so that my butter doesn't burn I'm using rice bran oil and that's got a rice bran oil that's got a really high uh, burn uh, point temperature so it won't smoke so we're gonna put a little bit of oil on the they've been on the counter for a good 15 minutes so they're definitely oh, even 20 minutes so time yeah they've been on the counter for a good 20 minutes so they're definitely room temperature you don't want to season these ahead of time because they will start cooking salt will cook your meat Maybe a little bit of white pepper there we go a little bit of white pepper Nice and simple because I wanna I wanna respect the flavors. I'm not sure what this is like. I mean I've had waterfall before, so maybe a little bit more. I've had waterfall before, so it should be more or less the same thing. What I like to call the stick of the sky. Which is why we're preparing it like this and how I'm gonna title the video, the stick of the sky. Because honestly it's uh, surprising how close to uh, how close to uh, how close to beef the flavor is, or how close to most well, yeah beef texture and so on. Okay, so I'm getting my pan up the temp. Just a tiny, 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 tiny little bit of butter. This is unsalted. That's why you saw me go pretty heavy on the uh, actual meat. I'm going to do a little asparagus I got from the garden. If you have a garden, plant asparagus. Takes a little... You mind the sniffer? Uh, it takes a little while, but after a couple of years, they... Uh, what's it called? Uh, they, uh, they, really, uh, they really establish and... Uh, 
the first thing the garden gives. I mean, before I even have a chance to plant anything, I'm already harvesting the uh, asparagus. The onion's just starting, and the asparagus is... What do you want, puppy? What do you want? And the asparagus is... Um, the asparagus is already ready to, ready to harvest. I harvested, oh, a good two, three handfuls two days ago, including this. And already I can go and harvest just as much as I took out of the garden. So it's, it, it gives, it gives all, it gives all, uh, all summer long. Okay, so let's get some of that spice on both sides. You stole my spice, you stole his spice. Everything's even now. And they're not very thick, so. I think I'm gonna go. Got most of the silver skin off, but there's still some here. I think I'm gonna go like two minutes per side, and that's it. Run out of garlic. Completely forgot to pick it up, so I had to go into my camping stash. Pull out garlic from my uh, from my uh, camping uh, camping kitchen equipment bag, which hopefully we'll be using this summer. Woo! It's smoking. Drop the temp a bit. Not that it's going to make a big difference, but it's kind of tired, so it really holds the uh, really holds the heat. So give it a really nice sear. And normally, what I like to have maybe some garlic. Or, or garlic and rosemary, but again, I wanted to kind of see what it tastes like on its own without the uh, without any uh, without any real help. So just salt, pepper, butter in the pan, of course a little bit of oil so that it doesn't yeah, so that it doesn't burn so bad, so that it doesn't burn too bad. Oil on there. 
Yes, Chester. I know you want to eat it. Bones, dig in. What do you fancy? Put this away. <coughs> Let's see what the insalata tastes like. I know it's going to be good. This cheese is made by an old man not too far away from here. And he's retired and I don't even think he made cheese for a living. I just think he likes to cook. That's horrendous. I can't, I can't pick this up. There we go. Mm. So I mix scaramozza and um, cacciacavallo. And they're very good cheeses. Mm. Very nice. Tomatoes still haven't. We're still not in the summer tomato phase. Hmm. The asparagus is nice. I ate half of it raw. Hmm. Excuse me. Mm. I can almost tell when it's been picked 10 feet away from where you're standing. Bon. La pièce de résistance. La pièce de résistance. Look at that nice. You hear that? That's crust. Let's see here. Feels a little tough. Feels a little tough. Hmm. Okay. Tastes a lot like liver. It tastes like liver, but less of that metallic. Excuse me. Pardon me, less of that metallic kind of uh, taste. It's definitely good. Definitely enjoy it. I'm just thinking I overcooked it. And you saw that <clears throat> we really didn't cook it for very long. Voila. It might be a little overcooked. Hmm. getting more of a steak flavor now that I'm working more to the middle of the meat which is odd and interesting of course you still got that liver without so much the metallic it's tender now I eat my steak like raw so that's it I have a funny feeling that if I had cooked this in the same way which for me it's more of like a minute and a half each side so about half the cooking time it would be much more tender or it would be just as tender as I normally have my meat. So, to say, for the cook, I think the tenderness is pretty much spot on. Um, flavor is really there. If you're a meat eater, if you really enjoy a piece of meat and you're not the kind of guy that it has to be pork, chicken, or beef, and that's it, um, get your gun, call up a guide, book yourself a trip. That's really something tasty. It's, uh, like I said, a little bit livery, a little bit steaky. Um, but I've definitely got that nice steaky flavor. That it's very nice, very good. I can't, uh, I'm, yeah, very much where I expected it to be. Very nice. Very nice, very good, very nice. Hey, the guy never says anything. You got an opinion? Try your, uh, try your bird. Mm hmm. Try your, uh, try your duck. Mm -hmm. Try your duck. Try, try your goose. Tell me what you think. It's Tell good. the viewers what they think. It's good. You haven't eaten it yet. Oh, you did. Sorry. Chester, what do you think? Is the duck good? 
Is the duck, is the goose good? No, there's nothing left on the fork, sweetie. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Was the, was the goose good? Hmm? You gonna come goose hunting with us in the fall? We're gonna go for Canada geese. Chum it all up. Very good. Definitely something you should add to your repertoire, change things up. If um, you hunt and you fish, it's a great hunt to get into. It's early spring. Uh, there's not much going on. I mean, trout is open, walleye opens this weekend. We went last weekend, so literally our choices would have been go for trout or that's about it. Um, we're about two weeks behind. We had some crazy, uh, crazy weather, so the wild garlic and the fiddleheads this weekend maybe. So yeah, if you're looking to fill in a weekend, early spring, get a guide and uh, go check it out. It's really something. It's impressive to see them fly. There are literally thousands and thousands. There's literally hundreds of thousands of birds. I have some footage. I might, uh, I might sneak in a little footage of the birds flying around. Hmm. Definitely. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. That's crazy. It looks like a cloud. It is a cloud. Am I filming? Hello? Okay, look, I'm further into this thing, and the really fat part of the steak wasn't cooked as well as the rest of it, and it is just as tender as a piece of beef. We almost don't need teeth. Hey YouTube, thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest content. Please feel free to leave comments, questions or suggestions. Till next time, get out there, enjoy nature and if you can't, stop by and watch a few vids.